As Nicola Sturgeon continues to push her SMP propaganda, the pro-freedom Scots are coming out against the Queen of Tyranny. Things are getting exciting in Scotland. Uh, we have seen uh, the latest uh, approval ratings of Nicola Sturgeon collapsing. We've seen uh, the, uh, the the appetite for the Scottish the second Scottish referendum going down massively. We've already seen the division inside the SNP establishment, and the opposition are slowly getting their act together, especially the Scottish Labour Party. Not that they're any better, but they're slightly slightly better than the SNP. This is about ordinary people. This is about the pro-freedom, anti-SMP Scots who are not just patriotic, but they actually want freedom and individual liberty. They've been going around, especially the organization called The Majority. Uh, these guys have been putting up billboards and different signs across the country to show their opposition against the idiots. Look at that. That is the message that you are sending to Nicola Sturgeon. Your time is up, Nicola, resign Sturgeon. Thank you to everyone who donated to the crowdfund. If you would like to donate to extend the reach of the campaign on social media, please go to our website. Resign Sturgeon. This is absolutely brilliant. Hashtag resign Sturgeon. Uh, just to obviously um, help you guys if you want to ch check it out. They've got this website, as I said, the majority, you can find it on donorbox.org. Uh, and it says, let's put billboards up all over Scotland, support the majority's campaign. Now, the whole messaging is that we are the majority. Let's not forget. And it says, the whole thing was founded in June 2020 by Mark and Mary uh, Devlin. The majority is working towards a flourishing Scotland, free of divisive nationalism. And their principles are... Unite Scotland's anti-nationalist community, say no to Indy Ref 2 and a harder border, uh, support the anti-nationalist politicians, highlight incompetence, scandal and waste, call out media appeasement, which is a big thing in Scotland, expose nationalist ideology and narratives, teach our followers how to fight effectively. This is absolutely brilliant, because on the one hand, it's cross-parties, non-partisan, um, there has to be also a new element of this debate because the, the SNP have been stealing the word nationalism the wrong way uh, because it's not really nationalism. Um, the only nationalist part of the SNP is anti-English sentiment. The rest of it, they actually say proudly that they are ultra-internationalists. They want to join the European Union. There is absolutely no nothing nationalist about it. So that's the one thing that needs to be fixed when it comes to the narrative. The rest of it, I absolutely agree with these guys because it has to be non-partisan. But at, at the end of the day, when it comes to elections, you're going to have to, as a people, just population and voters, get behind one party or one sort, sort of sort of umbrella coalition. Because otherwise, the, the pro-freedom or patriotic um, voters will be splitting the vote and the SNP could potentially get into power again. There has to be an element of unity and working together against uh, the nutters of Nicola Sturgeon's cult. Now, we're going to keep you guys posted on this as well as all the other issues on this channel. I'm Maya 2CNW, are the media. <laughs>